what's going on guys it is easter day sunday just wrapped up um, a nice bass fishing trip with my pups uh, we just fished our home lake today um, pretty slow start to the morning we didn't start fishing till like 9 30. Um, we were actually moving in the process of moving this entire weekend so we decided to wake up a little bit later this morning um, but yeah the fishing wasn't too bad the water temps hit 52 degrees in some spots which is actually really good considering how crazy the weather has been in the northeast um, they didn't catch anything early morning the morning bite was pretty slow uh, I caught two pickerel early not that that means anything um, dad caught a crappie at one point which was pretty cool and then all of a sudden in the last 45 minutes we're hitting a bank that's pretty close to the boat ramp and we whacked them you know six fish and probably 10 to 12 casts so it was pretty cool i got all of that on footage uh which you guys will see later on today but um kind of to introduce the video and also to um, show you guys my boat before i put the cover on it i figured i'd do like a little boat tour um i do have or we are fishing out of a brand new boat um for this season and we fished out of it for some of last season i haven't shown you guys yet so why don't we get to that so this is a Ranger Z117. Oh, never get over seeing the paint job on this thing. It's a 45th anniversary edition, so it's got a special like paint scheme going on. It's really nice. So I guess we'll just start with the back. It's 2013 Mercury Pro XS Optimax. Uh, it's a 115. If you can see there, it's got the four bladed uh, prop I definitely want to get a three bladed prop for it um, this boat hits with one person in it just about 50 miles an hour which is actually pretty good for me it's the fastest I've ever gone in my own boat um, this was actually the boat that I had that was uh, the pro uh, team 170 TX I believe it was it was an 08 so this was a pretty significant upgrade for us you guys the other side so that's that for the motor it's got the matching ranger trailer obviously as you can see right there all right why don't we hop in here so we got the two big seats we got the boater passenger the really nice seats are actually pretty huge we got the nice comfy seat in the back so we've got four compartments back here so we've got this side Good size compartment. This is probably going to be what I devote to the co-anglers for when I fish my club tournaments this year. And um, obviously you can put any miscellaneous items in there. Um, it's pretty good size for all that. On this side, I keep some important stuff. I keep the first aid kit. Got my extension cord in there. Um, some motor oil. What else? Some tools just in case, you know, a uh, uh, tire on the trailer ever breaks down. And we gotta fix that up. What else? Back here, obviously, you know, typical stuff. We got cranking batteries, trolling batteries, um, onboard charger. We got a switch here that um, has a few different options. You have the jump start option in case, you know, motor's not starting. You have your obviously on slash run switch, your off charge switch, which is on right now since I'm gonna start charging the boat soon. Then you have your um, um, a switch just to function out of one battery only. Over there you have the trolling motor on and off switch. Um, here you have a section to keep a uh, spare prop, which is actually pretty cool and important. I keep my um, fog light back here just so it's not in the way. That's it for the back. We got a live well. I can't remember how big the live well is in this boat. Um, I would say that's probably the only thing that it's kind of lacking in is live well space. See this divider kind of kills it. I gotta wash this up, but um, probably end up taking this out. Honestly, it'll be a pretty good size after that. But you know, if you catch a big fish and you try to put them in just one side, um, it's pretty small for that. Move up to the front of the boat now, where the console. 
I'm taking my shoes off. Kind of dirty. I'm not trying to get the carpet dirty. All right. So we go up to the front here. Obviously got your driver's console. Got all your switches, gauges. Uh, this boat comes with uh, an Elite 5 Lorenz unit. Not too bad. I definitely plan on upgrading the, the units on this boat at some point. It's got the Pro Trim. It's got the Mercury Smart Craft, which is pretty convenient and nice to have. This was a lifesaver for me. This is like, um, uh, it's the same type of charger that you use to charge phones in the cars. Um, that's, you know, I can charge my GoPros, my phone. It's, it's actually really convenient to have right at the driver's console. It's got good room underneath for your legs. And up here on the front left, we've got the rod locker. It's a pretty big rod locker. You probably, well, actually when I fished with my, um, or when I went up to Tennessee with my buddy Jimmy, we both managed to stuff all of our rods in there so i'd say there was probably like 24 rods in there which is actually pretty good and there was still room for more so you can see there i'm gonna actually glue this up again it's got a pretty good front deck plenty of room for two people to fish very comfortably i'd say even three could do it pretty comfortably um right here you got like a little cooling system you can put ice in there a bunch of drinks we got some waters and gatorades right now um, when I'm not using it as that, I, I use it as a, um, a way to keep certain things dry. For example, what the? I don't know where these came from, but I will take them. Um, it's a good way to keep, you know, your phone dry, safe, your keys, your wallet, all that good stuff. Then, on the front right side. We've got a pretty good size compartment. In here, I keep my life jackets, um, rain gear. You know, you got your front fog light here, fire extinguisher, extra ruler, um, just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. You know, I'll have people put their jackets and whatnot in here. It's a good box to have. Probably use it for tackle too. I ever amount up to that much tackle um, and then the last compartment in front here is where I keep all my boxes right now I pulled them out because um, we're keeping the, the boat at my dad's dealership so I obviously don't want to leave any of my rods or um, or tackle inside the boat because it just becomes a temptation for anybody passing by but yeah pretty good size um, locker for a bunch of tackle storage i fit a bunch of boxes in here it comes with the ranger bolts ruler up there and you can actually put uh rods in here if you ever wanted to use it as a rod locker as well but most people would probably prefer to use it for tackle and the the very front of the boat we got the Minn Kota trolling motor um this is a 70 volt or a 70 pound yeah 70 pound thrust and um, this thing gets the job done, you know. Um, at the lower speeds, it can't really feel it moving the boat too well. But um, I've honestly have no complaints about it. it. Works perfectly fine for me. Foot recess trolling pedal, and um, we also got a, a mounted unit up here. Is an Elite Five X DSI. It's got obviously the down scan imaging, and um, yeah. Here we have the, um, what's it called? We have a switch to uh, bring the motor up or down. And we also have the switch for the front fog light, which mounts right in there. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the boat. Um, sorry that I kind of rushed through it, but we have to head out of here. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you will see footage of today's actual bass fishing trip. Um, this boat is a dream. If you're looking to get into a, a really nice boat that's not as expensive as other Rangers are, um, I would definitely recommend the Ranger C117. Um, honestly, I don't think I'll fish any out of any other boat besides Ranger for the rest of my life. Um, I do at some point down the line. Hope to get into one of the 
top models, you know, with the 250 on the back, had some power poles, all that good stuff, but this boat gets me around fine. I fished out of um, Chickamauga with this thing with no issues at all. So uh, I hope you enjoy the boat tour, guys, and I will catch you later.